Hey guys, what's up? Look at all my empties. I'm ready to go for October empties. Here it is, let's get it started. So I'm going to do makeup first. The first makeup empty is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation and my shade is 1.0. I love this foundation. I have repurchased this multiple times in the past and I really like this because it is pretty weightless. It does claim to be like skin and I do agree with that claim. I feel like this is one of the most, um, it's not like super full coverage, it's more medium. You could build it up to full, but it is one of the more lightweight feeling foundations that you can build up to full coverage. So and the way that I got everything out was I took the pump off and I just stored it upside down um, It's really easy to get every last drop out of this too. So great stuff. I love that Okay, and then I have another face product this month It's my favorite concealer the Too Faced Born This Way concealer and my shade is fair I have already repurchased this of course because I go through maybe like one a month now. The formula is incredible. If you guys have dry skin or maybe you just are looking for something for the winter months, check this one out. It is so easy to blend and you just get a flawless finish every time. I even use this as a base sometimes. Like if I just want to do like a more low key makeup look, I'll use this concealer as my foundation and I've shown how I do that in like a bunch of videos like get ready with me's and like all kinds of stuff. I've, I've used this so many times um, I just really like the formula the shade everything about this I could rave about it for hours like I, I have raved about it for pretty much every empties video I think for the past few months favorites videos get ready with me you guys have seen me use this so much and yes I have already repurchased this it's a product that I do not want to be without I only managed to finish up one eye product this month but I think next month I'll have more because right now I'm testing out a bunch of mascaras um, this one just happened to dry out and the weird thing about about this well first of all let me tell you what it is it's the l'oreal voluminous lash paradise mascara i love this formula i do have a whole video on it so i'm not going to spend too much time talking about it but basically this is a great dupe for the Too Faced better than sex i actually like this i prefer it over the better than sex mascara and um the only downside is that it dries out kind of quickly i feel like i've had this open for maybe two months and i feel like i should be able to get at least three months of use out of a mascara but this one does have kind Kind of a drier formula so here's what the wand looks like it is a traditional bristle brush and it does have like that hourglass figure kind of shape to it like the Too Faced better than sex but again I feel like this totally outperforms that one because it doesn't flake on me like the Too Faced one does so I like this stuff and I haven't repurchased it because this is all I've been using the past few months so I actually just bought the new CoverGirl one and I'm gonna be using that just because it's a new mascara at the drugstore and I kind of got sucked into it so we'll see how that goes. I love this brow pencil. This is the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer Pencil and I have the shade Light Brunette. This stuff is so good. I feel like it is a dupe for the Anastasia Brow Wiz and that's what I finished up before this one. The size of it's really small and tiny just like the Brow Wiz and the spoolie is also thin which I love because Sometimes I feel like brow pencils like they'll be thin on the end But then the spoolie is like way too wide So I like that they also duped the spoolie too because it is so great for just getting in there and combing everything through brushing it through and um, Lately, I've just been using this brow pencil with some eyeshadow on just like everyday days I don't really use the pomade that much and my shade is light brunette um, I have tried brunette dark brunette those ones I think are too deep for me I really love this stuff and I have repurchased it I feel like this is the best dupe I've tried so far for the brow wiz which I really like but I go through brow pencils so quickly that I don't want to spend too much on it you know so I, I'm really happy I found a drugstore alternative um, I think this is an excellent one the next brow pencil that I'll be using is the NYX micro brow but I do have this in my everyday makeup drawer I just repurchased it in case the micro brow doesn't work out but you guys recommended the micro brow to me so I will be giving it another shot okay the last makeup product I have here that I use up this month is the aquaphor lip repair this is excellent stuff if you guys want to kind of like for me I use this as a lip mask like I know it's a lip balm but it has a little bit of a more of an emollient texture than my other lip balms it's not greasy but it just goes on and it, it is a little bit shiny and stuff so I don't really wear it too much for the daytime it's more of a nighttime thing for me I just pop a little bit of this on at night and you just wake up with the softest lips ever it is so good for that and especially if you do have sensitive skin try this one out or maybe ask your dermatologist about it moving right along into skincare I have as usual my Target Up and Up makeup wipes. I like these. They are the 
compared to Neutrogena version. And these are 25 count. They are also paraben free. So this is what I use to remove my makeup, but I do also cleanse my skin afterwards with a face wash. These aren't cleansing wipes. They're just like makeup removing towelettes pretty much. So that's what I use them for. And they are a little bit dirty. They, they're kind of grimy looking. So let's, let's get that out of here. I have an eye makeup remover. This is actually from CVS. Okay. I got this because of my friend Victoria here on YouTube, Biohazardous Beauty. Check out her channel. She does great empties videos. I love her. So I got this because of her raving about it in all of her empties videos. So shout out to Victoria. This stuff is awesome. Hi, Victoria. Please hug the cats for me. I love Luna and Lilith so much. Anyway, those are her cats. I love them. But yeah, this is the Beauty 360 Gentle Eye Makeup Remover. This stuff is really good. And I usually um, use my Target Up and Up Eye Makeup Remover. That's my favorite one. But this works just as well as that. And I was shocked because I, I love my Target Up and Up stuff. But this is really good too. The only difference is the amount of product that you're getting. Um, I think the full price on this one is more expensive than the Target one. But, um, you know, if I'm at CVS, I would grab this again. It is really good stuff and it does remove lash glue, glitter, eye makeup, anything. It's, it's just as good as the Target Up and Up one. Good find here. Thank you again to Victoria. I have a micellar cleansing water. This is my favorite one. It's the NYX Stripped Off Micellar Water. And I get this at Target for $7. You can also buy this at Ulta, but I think they sell it for eight or nine. So I like to buy mine at um, Target, but I love this. It is my favorite cleansing water. I love this micellar water because it is very gentle on my skin and I feel like it's a bit more hydrating than the other brands I have used. Like my skin actually kind of feels like I moisturized after I put this on. I mean, I have very dry skin, so I also go in with an additional moisturizer, but if I don't have time or something, like this works pretty well for me just on its own and it does remove um, face makeup well. I wouldn't say it gets a lot of eye makeup off, like if you have mascara and stuff this doesn't take off that but it does take off my other makeup I have a new product that I use up this month it is from skin fix and this brand makes a lot of products for eczema for dry skin and this is their foaming oil cleanser and it claims to be a luxurious creamy foam that gently washes away dirt makeup and leaves your skin hydrated I personally, um, I found this was okay. I don't know if I would go out of my way to buy it. I did get sent this product by the brand. This works well at removing makeup, like it does melt everything off, but I don't find it working better than other cleansing oils and cleansing balms that I've tried in the past. Like I've used the Pixie, um, the Duo that has like the oil and the cream, I believe. And I like that a lot more because I feel like it didn't, it didn't leave a heavy residue behind like this one. And I know it's supposed to be hydrating, but I felt like it was just greasy in a way. My favorite lotion in the whole universe, this is the Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Lotion. I have gone through so many of these. This is a staple product. I've used this pretty much my entire life and it is very hydrating. It's fragrance free. It just feels good on my skin. It helps me feel like I have normal skin. <laughs> I love this lotion. It just absorbs right into my skin. It keeps my dryness at bay, especially like with my arms and legs. I use this a lot, um, you know, especially this time of the year when it gets a little, when it starts getting a little bit colder, I make sure to use this, um, you know, morning and night. It is my favorite product to moisturize with for my body. And you can buy this again at pretty much any drugstore. This is one of the larger sizes, but they do have um, even bigger ones at Costco. I need to go to Costco again. <laughs> And like stock up on this for winter because it is it is just pretty much all I use on my body and other than like prescription medication that I use for my eczema of course that's that's a whole nother story but this is all I use daily you know all right so I have one face wash this is actually like a little sample size but it lasted me the whole month um, a little bit longer actually I, I, I've been using this all last month too it's from Dermalogica and this is their special cleansing gel so this is a gel face wash but it does does foam up and I really like that because I'm not used to gel textures I'm just not used to them but I, I need to get better at it but basically this kind of helps you know ease your way into a gel face wash because it's like it, it does foam up which is cool it lathers um, not a lot but it does have a little bit of lather to it and I find that it removes makeup well but 
Um, I, I like the other face wash Dermalogica does more than this one. I think it's their creamy one. I forgot what it was called, but I like that one more. Um, I probably wouldn't go out of my way to buy this, but it was cool to try. Just a shave cream that I used up, not too exciting. It's the Pure Silk brand and it's the Vitamin E one that's meant for dry skin. I didn't feel like this was moisturizing. I definitely would not repurchase this. It's just okay. It's just like a shave, a boring shave cream. Um, I personally love the Target Up and Up one that's compared to the Aveeno brand and I just just repurchased that one so I won't be getting this again. I finally finished up this Olay body wash. This is the Shea Butter one and it's the Ultra Moisturizing Formula I think it's called. Yeah, Ultra Moisture Shea Butter and this is the 30 fluid ounce bottle that comes with the pump. I love the pump. The packaging is so good on this and the formula is really nice too. It is very hydrating. Um, it does make your skin feel like you kind of used a lotion which is nice um, but it's not uh, it's not too overpowering. The scent isn't like in your face. It does doesn't clash with perfume if you like to wear anything like extra it won't um, overpower that which is another reason why I like it so last up here this is more of like a cleanser um, you know this is like a general product you could use it for so many different things it's the Dr. Bronner's peppermint castel soap and I love the peppermint scent but I just recently got the almond one because I wanted to switch it up but I do like the peppermint this one is my favorite I use this for washing my makeup brushes I use this for getting stains out of my t-shirts like if you have um, sometimes like my white t-shirts get stains on them like coffee or makeup and this takes it out so well it's really good for a bunch of different uses I buy mine at Target and they keep this in their section where they sell a lot of their organic cosmetics but in other stores I find that they keep this by their cleansers like the household cleaning products so you might not be able like if you don't see it in your store check out the cleaning aisle all right let's talk about snacks and beverages all the fun stuff that I love to share with you guys especially when I find like fun little non-dairy treats first snack item this is the Trader Joe's peanut butter chewy coated and drizzled granola bars with peanuts and a little bit of peanut butter oh my gosh these are so good I love chewy granola bars the kind bars are my favorite but I just um, I don't know I just wanted to switch it up so these are pretty good too I always always have a granola bar on me like I don't like to be hangry so I just have snacks on me at all times like a toddler I have snacks like prepared and I just love Trader Joe's in general like uh, it is my happy place and I talk about how much I love them way too much so I will spare you because I did that last month um, I have a green tea I think I've shown you guys this before it's the Bigelow green tea and I love this at nighttime when I'm just like winding down um, lately it's been really hot again so I haven't been into my hot teas as much I've been more into my iced coffees lately but um, yeah I've, I still enjoy a cup of tea once in a while okay this is a new treat that my mom actually got for me so shout out to my mama you know me you know I love my almond milk ice cream so she found these I think it's sprouts and it's the almond dream bites they're kind of like those um, those dibs things if you guys ever tried those so this has vanilla almond milk ice cream in the center and then it just has like a little bit of a chocolate coating and I love it so much you guys two more food items that are like non dairy so this one right here is from my favorite brand of non dairy cheese it's called follow your heart and this is is their dairy free parmesan style shredded cheese this tastes like real parmesan cheese it is so good i i have re i have already bought another one like it is oh i love it and if you guys ever make like i make pasta dinners a lot so it's nice to have something that like actually tastes like parmesan cheese and uh doesn't irritate my stomach at all i don't have any issues with this i believe it is yeah soy free gluten free vegan casein free as well sometimes you have to look out for this casein because um, this is another milk product and I am allergic to milk. I can't like milk products and milk. I cannot eat them um, I just when I do eat milk I get so uh, My stomach painful cramps. It's so painful like the worst cramps I've ever had That's what happens when I eat cheese and then I'll usually you know all the other stuff that comes with that I'll spare you the details, but anyway, this just makes me excited. Um, I can have cheese on my pasta I have a good little chocolate bar find I wanted to share with you guys. I'd never heard of this brand before. It's called Enjoy Life and this is their Boom Choco Boom Bar. It's dairy, nut, and soy free. It's also gluten free. It's a dark chocolate bar. This is so yummy. I really love 
love this and if you like dark chocolate or if you have allergy issues like I do look into this brand I think you'll really like it and I think that's actually it for my empties this month my camera battery is about to die so I'll keep it short and simple I hope you guys enjoyed this empties let me know what you finished up down below in the comments I hope you guys are doing well I would love to hear from you all and as always thank you so much for watching